Yeah, this is not my kitchen. And I did not break into somebody's house. <laughs> Funny story though, I'm taking a week off. Why? Because I met some real, authentic guineas. Meet the Castaldos, <laughs> all right? I met them just a little while ago. We played pickleball together. Very competitive. You need one. <laughs> but I did them a favor, right? Yeah, you did. A little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, it's all right. We're not talking about it. But in exchange, <laughs> they agreed to have their two wonderful children, these guys, make me sausage and peppers? Stop, Stop, Stop peppers! peppers! I don't know why I keep screwing that up, but yeah, stuffed peppers. I love stuffed peppers. I make them like shit. They have volunteered to show me the proper way to make them. This not is your, like shit. Not like shit. Not a rosa. Not like shit. Not a rosa style. This is this is their grandmother's recipe, all except for one thing. We're gonna drop a little Easter egg. Maybe you can try to figure it out. But we ain't telling. But this is my week off. My wife is over there drinking a. What is that? A Kool-Aid. A, a Kool-Aid. Oh, an ice pop. Uh, an ice I, with booze. An ice pop and booze. Oh, Look at this glass. You ever watch The Sopranos? This they had this set. This is freaking fantastic. That's how original these people are. <laughs> and mine is filled with gin. All right. So first we gotta prep the peppers because we're making stuffed peppers. Okay. Tell them what to do. All right. So the first thing you do is uh, well you gotta wash it because you know Corona. You guys wash your hands? Yeah. <laughs> And then you cut the top off, like so. And then you gotta get rid of that. Get it all out. Get rid of that. All right. All right, now you never throw anything away if we're in Nana's kitchen. So, you gotta take the top, slice it up nice. And then you gotta add it to the rest of them. Take the pan that you put the peppers in and you're gonna put these little slices all around in the bottom. Don't get them in the peppers. You want your peppers to stand up nicely, right? So when you have a pepper like this, uneven. <laughs> so you gotta trim a little bit of the bottom, okay? So you just take your knife, nice like this, and you put it in. Now it stands. So in this bowl, we have our ground beef. Lovely, thank you. And we already cooked some rice. Now this is a little mixture here of brown and white, but you can use whatever you want. All white or all brown, so we just mix it up. Whatever you have that's already you cooked. Use. Already cooked and cooled. You don't want to cook the beef. Okay, add some of that in there. You eyeball it, you never know. How much? Don't put it all in there. Yeah, we know. Yeah. Yeah. A little more. Ah. Oh. All right. Now, in order to get it all to bind, you need a binding factor. So here we have some. Oh, binding factor. Huevos. Eggs. <laughs> Crack some of those in there. Throw that out. Another Don't one. get the shell. No shells, no shells. You do, it's okay though. Okay, and then we're gonna add some garlic. Chop some up. Okay, you slice it up like this, and then you go in. Just whatever. Just like how I have over here. And then once it's all chopped up, slide it in, and add it to the bowl. thing you have to do is add your fresh uh, basil. basil. Forgot what it is. The thing about the basil is you gotta chiffonade. When you chiffonade basil, you gotta make sure you say chiffonade. <laughs> if what you don't know it? what that is, I'm about to show you, so no worries. Push it. Chiffonade. 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 You get the hint? There we go. Chiffonade. Chiffonade. Oh, the mozzarella? Mm-hmm. You got that going in? And then you add it to the bowl. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, now you don't forget the parsley. You take this parsley stem, take the leaves off. Where'd you get that parsley? Right? We're growing it. Oh. We're growing Over it. There? Huh? Yeah. Okay, once that's cut up, add it to the bowl. 
Then we've got some freshly cracked pepper. This is a custom made bottle, but it's actually a cracker. Ready? Cracker. Here we go. Cracker. A little bit more. Crack, crack. Okay, boss. That's enough. Some salt, a little bit of salt. That's Don't good. put too much salt. Yeah, we know. Gotta put the cheese. A little cheese. Uh, this is finely grated Pecorino Romano. So take a handful of that, a little bit more. Okay. some uh, capers. Don't forget this stuff. This is important. Let me get a spoon. Yeah, please give me a spoon. Put a little of that juice in here. There you go. Perfect. Okay. Nice spoon. Two tablespoons. Two tablespoons. Like this. Spoonful of that. Nice. Maybe a little bit more. This is also salty. Take it easy. That's why you don't expensive. put a lot of salt. All right, yes. next we've got some ground oregano leaves. These are dried. Dried oregano. Right? Just uh, sprinkle that in there. Just a little bit. That's good. Dried Italian seasoning. And a little dried basil. Now we mix. Nah, right. what'd you forget? You forgot something. Oh, what? What are you talking about? You know, that was not supposed to be said on the film. Well, you and the kid. All right, well, I guess we're gonna tell you now. Oh, you were gonna hide these? We gotta add a little uh, bit of raisins for sweet. We're not gonna tell them the... Uh, That's an oaf. Hey, I know. Okay, raisins for sweetness. That's a little secret, but I guess it's not a secret anymore. Okay. Really get in there with your hands. Don't be afraid of it. Make sure it feels right, not too watery, coming together nice. You want to put a little more rice? Mix all that ingredients and you can kind of see it's a little bit. Yes, no. A little bit too much meat, so we might add a little more rice. Oh. Little spoonful. Okay. Put anything in the side? You gotta put some in there. All right. You forgot? Dad, uh -huh. go ahead, add some. No. Yeah, okay. add some. So then I guess you gotta add some uh, tomatoes. Yeah, because you forgot. Yeah, yeah. You can just add the juice. A little juice. A little juice. Uh, All right. Little juice of the tomatoes. It's time to stuff the peppers. Bring the peppers over your mess. And go ahead and put your filling in each one of the peppers. You want to fill them about three quarters of the way because we're going to add a little something, something on the top there. Uh -huh. So just fill them up. Remember, you don't want them filled all the way to the top because we got to put a little something, something. And you want to really pack it down. Pucker. All right, so now it's time to top these bad boys off. So voila. The two things you gotta top them off with is a nice chunk of cheese. That goes in there. And then a piece of at least like three day old bread. Nice stale bread, because it's gonna get crunchy in there. Nice and crispy. So, this is pretty old. But that's okay. <laughs> you nice stale bread, that's what you need, okay? So you put a little bit of cheese, a little bread on each of them. Okay, you use the stale bread because when it cooks off in the oven, it gets nice and crispy on the top. And the cheese melts into the meat mixture and it holds it all together. Holds all together, I like this bread. Get out! Put it down, move it down. You know, this bread, it holds everything in there. It's a purpose for that bread. Okay. Purpose. Not only because how about this piece? Yeah, I told you. Cut it up. Put it in there. What are you going to do? Throw it away? No. Oh, okay. We're going to put it in a meatball mixture. Oh, yeah. Straight from Italy. Cento tomato. This is the only brand. Take this nice chunk of tomato and 
crush them over the top. Interact. Okay. Ah. Oh, the olive oil. This goes on the top, helps the bread get in a little crunchy, a little drizzle. All right. Don't forget to put it on the tomatoes and stuff. Yeah. That's the sauce. Okay. What about the cheese? You gonna put a little cheese on yeah. it? Yeah. We're just gonna top it off. We're just gonna top it off with a sprinkle of grated parm again. That's not grated parm. Pecorino Roma. Oh, excuse me, I forgot. How beautiful. Ooh. Bella. Awesome. Around too. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. That's good. All right. Hey, do you want me to open the oven for you? Yeah. yeah. Once they're covered. Woo! Nice and done. And then there you go. 15 minutes covered, and then we're gonna uncover it. At 375. After you uncover them from the tin foil, you have to bake them off for another 10, 15 minutes because you want this bread to get nice and crispy and get a little charred action on the top. On the top. Oh! Oh! Huh? Oh my God! Look at this beautiful stuffed peppers. Hey, enjoy. Hey, easy. Cheers. What are you? Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.